Hey everybody, uh, this is a short tutorial for uh, your task in a lab for Intro to GI Science at University of Georgia. Um, your challenge here is to figure out how to load some LiDAR data and do some brief analysis of it. So let me walk you through um, the process for doing so. Um, I'm assuming you've already got Fugro Viewer um, installed on whatever computer that you're using. It's on our lab computers or you can download it and install it on your own computer for free. So we need to download and install, or, or sorry, we need to load our LiDAR data. So if you go under File here and open LiDAR Files, and these are files that are freely available from the state of Minnesota, we've got two tiles that are in your lab data. So we're going to go ahead and click on each one of those. And I'm just, to do multiple ones at once, I'm just holding down the Control key on my PC. And I click OK, or Open. It'll take a second to open those up, but what you'll see is these are, again, point cloud files that we'll load here. And we'll give it just a second. This is a section of the um, downtown Minneapolis around the Mississippi River. And you'll see the rivers right here. You've got a couple of bridges here. This is a fairly uh, famous uh, tourist site called the Stone Arch Bridge in Minneapolis. Um, and this is a point cloud. And you'll see that it's uh, got different colors on here. Those colors refer to elevation, but they also refer to type. So if we actually click on this little button here, you'll see there's a lot of different um, classifications. This is similar to other kinds of classified data that you worked with earlier in the semester. Um, if we go to a bare earth model that just shows the ground, right? And if we click apply, all of a sudden, a lot of our points disappear. This is only earth as far as we can tell. What if we want to have buildings as well? Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on this and click apply. And there we go. Um, that looks good. So I'll go ahead and click OK with that. These are the two. You want number two and number six um, when you're working with these data. Now this is fine and all, um, but what if we want to do a little more interactive viewing of it? We can click on this little 3D button right here and it'll open a 3D version of that data. And you can use your mouse to look around with it. So you can rotate it around and see it from an angle. I'm just clicking on it and dragging it. You can see where those buildings are. They're kind of ghostly in the way that they're listed here. You can scroll in and out using your mouse as well. So if you want to kind of get a better look at some of these, you'll notice that it's not, you know, if you get too close, it starts to get a little transparent. Um, but you can see how that works. If I hold down the control key, uh, or sorry, the right, the right uh, mouse button, um, I can also drag my um, perspective around as well. So it allows you to take a look at it and manipulate those data. Um, the last thing um, that you might want to do is just do some measurement. So let's get rid of this 3D view. And um, for this lab, I'm going to ask you to take a look at this building that's right down here um, and do some measurement with that. We're not going to do that here. Let's take a different building instead. We can do what's called a transect. Uh, so just take a cross section of these data. Let's just take a look at this building right over here. And I'm clicking a couple times. And this should show up. That might not have been wide enough. Let's try that again. So if I um, click on this button, right, and we'll just do kind of a cross section and make it a little wider, just like that. There we go. So now you can see this building right here. And you get a sense of even what the building looks like. This is a cross section of that um, thing that we just looked at. We can use this measurement tool then to measure distances. So how tall is this building? Um, I think this is um, meters, but check your lab. Um, it's about 60, whatever our measurement units is. Right? And we can also um, then figure out how wide it is. In this case, um, hold on. Hit escape. Let's do this again. There we go. So that's a lot shorter in terms of the way this is set up. Um, I think this is not measuring, uh, it's just measuring up and down. But you get the sense of how this, how this all works. So um, hopefully this is helpful to you. Um, Fugu Reviewer is a, a helpful tool to have. It's freely available and allows us to work with some of this 3D data.